jump into it. Do I need to swap any cameras or anything? It looks like we are good. Jumping into it on Battlefield. Uh, yeah, nice stage for both of them. Snake gets the C4s on the platforms as Synth immediately demonstrates. Yeah, so you got to watch out for that. But obviously Fox gets up airs, upward aerials. And, and already seeing Synth using a lot of uh, reverse approach grenades that... Woo! Oh, oh. <laughs> Every, everyone's exploding right now. Uh, so, yeah, those reverse grenades kind of give a, a hitbox to protect Snake. My god. Welcome to air camp. Wow. I, I think this is probably how you play the matchup, to be fair. I respect it. Since saying, come up here, this is my zone, and Cat, at the moment, not giving it to him. But, to be honest, I think Fox can go up there. I mean, Fox is one of the best kind of characters in the game at chasing aerially. Ooh. Very nice way coming out from Sid. Wow, that all grenade almost working. Look at the read on the side B. Cat goes really high with the side B. Parry on the grenade. Are you crazy? I, I respect this play out of both players, honestly. Cat holding the ground, Synth holding the platforms. Both knowing where their characters are best. Ooh, the up tilt. Shark in the landing, though. And suddenly, since kind of coming away with this a little bit, 78%, not the worst. Tomahawk grab on the platform. That's how you know that someone's been playing the game for a while. Oh dear. Yeah, okay. Since definitely knows how to play this uh, camping game on the top flat side platforms. Very, very practiced in this. Ooh, that side B on the platform was almost really cute catching the side B, but just couldn't quite detonate it in time. Ledge trap this time. Cat realizing that the uh, very nice parry on the second hit of F2. I think, yeah, we should see more players doing that. That's. Uh, Obviously, Snake can mix up the timing a little bit, but... Ooh, gotta watch how you're using these Nairs out combos. Cat actually ends up better out of that situation. Ooh, Synth almost on ledge for too long. Instead, the Cypher coming out, down throw, or going for back throw instead. Yeah, might as well when you've got side B. Ooh, okay, Firefox able to go through it. Couldn't quite... I thought that was... I thought that was like half a percent off the window, but <laughs> okay, it had to happen eventually. There's been so many C4 destinations already. Uh, that was actually a punish. Uh, Synth pulled the C4 detonation right in front of Cat. Ooh, watch where you're going. I haven't watched Snake play like in general in a long time. I forgot how interesting this character is. Arch smash on the platform, very nice setup. Looking for the roll, Cat does not give it. Okay, this is where you really need to get something going as Fox. But yeah, the, the upbeat, out of disadvantage, just not to, Cat just not able to cover it right there. Needs to be able to read it early. Yeah, Synth just controlling so much space. That, honestly, really, really nice play coming out from Synth. 1-0. And I, I don't even think... Um, Cat is playing the matchup particularly poorly, but wow, Sid just controlling so much space, making it look like it's impossible to approach Snake whatsoever. There have been maybe slightly too many C4 pulls and destinations. Obviously, that animation is a little laggy. The hitbox is obviously not where Snake is, so if you're able to kind of call him out doing it and uh, get jump in on Snake while he's detonating that C4, that could be something the cat could uh, benefit from. But yeah, it's gonna be tough. Since looking really, really good today, probably nah. I mean, Pelly looked amazing in his set as well. But since one to watch out for for sure. Just having a little bit of discussion over the stage pick. I think... Oh, I don't even know where you... It, the only stage I can definitely say... I don't know, actually. I feel like these characters really like similar stages. <laughs> For very different reasons. We are going to see the FD. Because... 
neither of these characters are particularly good on FD, in my opinion. But I guess Cat is viewing that Snake is even worse on SD, FD than, than Snake is. And obviously, it completely removes Sin's game plan from game one, which was to camp on the platforms. So yeah, I, I agree with this decision. Ooh, just slightly off that grab, that's unfortunate. Why does Dash not do that much knockback at zero? That's crazy. Yeah, and one thing, yeah, this now allows um, Cat to use lasers a lot more. So lasers instantly detonate a grenade, which is so useful in this matchup. Yeah, 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 this stage pick makes a lot of sense. Actually, looking at it now, this, sh this should have been banned. Because this completely changes the dy dynamic of the matchup. Like, completely. Since game plan in game one was to just platform camp, and th th there are no platforms on this stage. There are no platforms on this stage, and Fox has a button that deletes. Like, one neutral B just invalidates the other. So this, this is what we call um, outplaying of the character select, or outplaying of the stage select. But, um, sometimes you need to think a little bit critically about your bands. Never mind, Cat standing on top of the C4. Maybe he just needs to be a little bit more mindful. Uh, you want to watch Snake's animation when he's placing it. That's the easiest way to spot the C4. Obviously, it has the glow as well. On a stage like uh, FD, it's easier to see the glow, but really, you just really want to be paying attention to Snake and watch him place it in the first place. Ooh, almost threw him onto the grenade. That would have been really, really cute. Cat definitely has an understanding of this matchup. Some people you see play against Snake and they're just so clueless about what a grenade is, where it is, what time it's going to blow up. Uh, we haven't forced Paddy to go DDD yet, but, uh, well, we're not going to force him to do anything, but uh, he might do one for the fans, we'll see. Ooh, very, very nice. Whiff punish on the grab with the up smash. Oh, Cat is stuck right now. Okay, able to shield it. Jab coming out. Not seen as many Nikitas though, I would have thought, but I guess that jab didn't send that far off stage. There's the Nikita. Very nice parry coming out again from Cat. Okay. Suddenly seeing less lasers. Uh, Synth uh, doing a few more jump ins. F tilt killed. Oh! My lord. Fox is very light. F tilt is a silly, silly move. But yeah, this is the one of the downsides of playing Fox is that you sometimes just die to a stray option. I believe Fox is like top five lightest. No, but that might be an exaggeration, but they're very, very light in this game. They're, their way got nerfed. Back throw C4 sticky is true at high percent. That's correct, JJ. Um, they were unable to get any grabs uh, once Cat was stickied. But yes, I know some players, once they get a sticky, they will just play for the grab. Which I think is fairly respectable, to be honest. But you got to also realize that sometimes you can just let it loose because they're sticky. Dude. You can just blow them up at any moment. Yeah, you got to be careful pressuring Snake's shield when he has got a grenade pulled. Very nice, very nice. Jumping out of that pressure. Okay. Ooh. Excellent patience coming out from Cat. I'm really liking this, but they're gonna have to do a lot of work to actually take this game. The back air. Oh no! It was the right idea, but just not realizing that they were gonna end up trading with the Cypher afterwards. But I respect it. Once Snake is forced to recover low, you really have to punish it. But yeah, both players playing really well. Uh, it was honestly just a couple of early deaths from Cat in that uh, game two that cost them. So I could see us going back to FD. But instead, we are going to Kalos. Let's see if Synth is able to camp on this one. <coughs> or at least platform camp. I believe in it. I think he can do it. Because uh, I, I don't think Fox approaches that side platform very well. Fox's best hitboxes are above him. Obviously, there's back air, but you don't tend to use that rising onto a platform. You can. I'm not saying you can't, but it's, it's a little awkward to kind of fit it in. 
Oh, I love that. Only using one hit of f because he knew the grenade was coming back down. So smart. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Synth proving that he can do it. I think there was a slot, a small window in there for a punish. Cat missing it. And I think that's one of the key things where the matchup is getting lost is um, Cat's waiting out for Synth to kind of overextend with the setups and then just sometimes not being able to actually punish them. Ooh, unfortunate. A Synth able to spot dodge that. Cat going onto stage with that side would be very risky if uh, Synth had chosen to play a little bit more forward, but makes it back. Ooh, that's got to be a miss input. In. Yeah, okay. Maybe Synth had forgotten that he placed the C4? This is doable, but one up till. Yeah, it's okay. The up air, I was gonna say, it's actually quite scary camping on that platform just because Fox is so close to you at this point. But, ooh, excellent rollback read. Okay, it's in covering so much. He's got a C4 on the side plat as well. Let's see if uh, Cat realizes. The Cat side plat's a little bit taller, so I'm not sure if they'd actually hit Fox if you're. One of the benefits of putting C4 on a platform is the down throw up tilt. Um, one of the benefits of putting a C4 on the platform is that it can hit a character standing below the platform as well, but I don't know if that's the case on Kalos. Ooh. Back at low profile under the up smash. Yeah, Cat really looking for up smashes right now. And I liked it when they were just playing it a little slower, just slowly calling out a mistake that Snake makes. Here we are. Ooh. To be fair, I probably would have dropped shield there. I'm, I'm not going to knock that down smash. I think that was a pretty good down smash. Yeah, that's the one way that you really don't want to be trying to land as Snake versus Fox is just directly above. Obviously, you do have C4s and grenades to try and cover below you, but... Ooh, it looked like Snake had that read, but then kind of didn't believe in it. Ooh. Up air and full stop lead for Synth. It's looking like a 3-0. I mean, it's honestly been a close set, but Synth's just kind of had the upper hand the entire time, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. Ooh, still keeping the grenade in hand. Very, very nice stuff from Synth. The control of the grenades are really, really good. Ooh. Synth looking really strong, honestly. Oh. Wow, the roll read dying a hundred percent before the hit, I believe. 3-0. Like I say, that was 